remove the temporary. If necessary, clean the preparation with a polishing brush and a fluoride-free cleaning paste, such as Proxite fluoride-free, in order to remove any leftover temporary cement. Subsequently, rinse the preparation with water spray and dry it with oil and moisture-free air. For optimum aesthetic results, check the shade of the restoration. When trying in the permanent restoration, check the shade effect, the accuracy of fit, and the occlusion of the restoration. Etch the bonding surface of the restoration made of IPS Emax with 5% hydrofluoric acid, such as ceramic etching gel, for 20 seconds. Subsequently, rinse off the etching gel and dry the restoration. If the restoration has already been etched in the lab, clean the bonding surface with IvoClean. For this purpose, apply IvoClean to the entire bonding surface and leave to react for 20 seconds. Subsequently, rinse it off and dry the restoration. Apply the monobond end bonding agent to the pre-treated surfaces with a brush or micro brush and leave to react for 60 seconds. Subsequently, disperse excess material with a strong stream of air. Prepare and clean the preparation again with a polishing brush and a fluoride-free cleaning paste, such as Proxite fluoride-free. Afterwards, rinse the preparation with water spray and dry with air. Avoid over-drying of the preparation. Apply the mixed Multilink end primer onto the entire bonding surface using a micro brush and scrub it for 30 seconds. Start with the enameled surface. Disperse excess Multilink end primer with a stream of air until the mobile film disappears. The primer is self-curing and no light curing is required. Dispense the desired amount of Multilink N from the Automix syringe and apply it directly to the restoration. Seat the restoration and hold it in place using light, constant pressure. Light cure excess cement with a polymerization light, such as Blue Phase N in high power mode, for 1 to 2 seconds per quarter segment using a light intensity of 1200 milliwatt per square centimeter. Please note that the distance between the light probe and the restoration must not exceed 10 millimeters. You can now easily remove the gel-like excess using an implant scaler or dental floss for the proximal areas. Like all composites, Multilink N is subject to oxygen inhibition. In order to avoid this effect, cover the restoration margins with glycerin gel or air block immediately after the removal of excess cement. Liquid strip is particularly suitable for this purpose. Subsequently, light cure-all cement margins for another 20 seconds using, for example, Blue Phase N in high power mode, using a light intensity of 1200 milliwatt per square centimeter. If you have used impervious, opaque restorative materials, wait for approximately 5 minutes until the Multilink N is cured. Rinse off liquid strip. Adjust proximal areas with finishing and polishing strips. Check and adjust the occlusion and functional movements if necessary. Polish restoration margins with polishers, such as Astropol or with discs. Finally, apply a thin layer of floor protector N with a Viva brush or a brush. Disperse and dry the varnish with an air syringe. 